family, good evening. We just want to welcome you to a special day as it's our pastor's birthday. So we wanted to have a special evening for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Be a little something yeah. for you. Yes. You know, I know yeah, some of you couldn't yeah. make it today. Yeah. So we just want to make some noise and celebrate our pastor. Yeah. Yes, yes. So today is a special day, like she said. Uh, we are celebrating a special man, which is our pastor, he's our mentor, he's our friend, he's our counselor, a corrector, everything really. So yes, also if you're watching, we just want to say that we really, really love you for what Happy you do. Happy birthday. Who you are. You know, uh, we appreciate you for who, I mean, who that you are and what you do for us, honestly. I just, we just pray that everything that we do right now is going to please you and uh, allow you to do some two steps in your living room. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. God bless you. Enjoy it, guys. Bye. What's up, everyone? We're back to play. What about my people? But there's one that I want to know, you know. I wanna, I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Yeah, I wanna know Jesus. Yeah. Don't you wanna know Jesus? Yeah, I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Yeah. Cause if you know Jesus, you know the Son. If you know Jesus, you know the Father. If you know Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know, you know your Jesus. identity. If you know Jesus, you know everything that you need in this life. Yeah. That's why uh, I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Yeah, I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Cause it's the reason for the season, so I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know. If you're watching us, yeah, yeah, and you want to celebrate faster, remember that if you want to become like him, you got to become like Jesus, because he reminds me of Jesus, that's why I want to know Jesus, in the chat, everybody let's go, I want to know Jesus, 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 I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Tell me something. Yeah, yeah, tell me something. I was your beloved before you came and said, You had plans for me, Lord, even before you for me. Came and turned my life around and you gave me freedom. That's why I call you Yahweh. That's why I sing, Lord, you are my everything, my God, my rock on which I stand. Place no one above you, Lord, cause your love is greater than all, greater than my weakness, greater than my sickness, greater than my flaws, greater than my fears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna know Jesus, yeah, yeah, I wanna know Jesus, yeah, yeah. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna, I wanna know. Don't you I wanna, wanna know Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Really, really wanna know Jesus. I wanna know Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Think it now. I wanna know Jesus. 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 Yeah. I wanna know Jesus. Don't you wanna know Jesus? Do you wanna know Jesus? Alright, break down. Okay, now you know that we wanna be like Jesus. So imagine that the Holy Spirit is whispering right now to your ear. Something that sounds like. Desire me, desire me, desire me, desire 
For your peace on your joy, yeah. We are waiting for your righteousness. Uh. We are waiting for your holiness. Uh. We are waiting for your purity, yeah. We are waiting for your holiness. Na 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 Pour it on our spirit. Pour it, Holy Spirit. Pour we Holy Spirit. Pour we Holy Spirit. Pour we Holy Spirit. For we Holy Spirit, for we Holy Spirit, now for we Holy Spirit. Richie, never run. We wanna, we wanna be dripping for the kingdom. We wanna be dripping for the kingdom. We wanna drip, drip for the kingdom. Drip, 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 drip. We wanna, wanna be dripping for the kingdom. We just wanna be dripping for the kingdom. Somebody help me cause there is something that I can see. Maybe it's because I need something. Cause I need fire in my eyes. I need oil up on my head. Holy Ghost fire. Do not miss power. Holy Ghost fire. Do not miss power. I need fire in my eyes. I need oil up on my head. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, you don't miss power. Yeah. Give me fire in my eyes, give me oil up on my head. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, you don't miss power, you don't miss power. Give me fire, give me fire, give me oil up on my head. You don't miss fire, you don't miss power. Yeah. 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 Miss power. Yeah. 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 It looks like we're gonna make too cute, yeah. It's not all so sad. It's not all so sad. Aja! Nah. Come on! Hey. Cause we know that Aja. this is a war, yeah? Aja. So go feet! Go feet! Go on the six for me! Go on the six for me! Nah. Oh. Come on! Oh. Yeah! Are you feeling the vibe? Yeah, yeah! Oh. Uh. Okay! Yeah. 
Some bars that that's are you ready? We're gonna have our beautiful Kantiana, the healing evangelist, the Katrikuma of our generation. Come on, here we go now. <laughs> Chale, Kanti, Flo, Michael. Uh, uh, happy birthday, Pastor Rando. You know, I had to step on a mic real quick. Drop a couple bars real quick. 
What are you telling me? Ah. Ah. Happy birthday to Pastor Randolph. We're in the spirit, Ran Bando. We're in the UK, taking territory. Got the angels on my side, yeah, they always wash my feet. I believe in Christ Jesus. Secure eternity, I don't doubt, I don't fear, cause my heart is at peace. And also, it's like Shepherd, we just follow him as sheep. We're disciples in this place, always repping KAC, KAC. KAC to the world and back uh. KAC to the Christ comes back uh. KAC with the word we strap We never lack Cause the angels stay on on full attack We in the shack In the secret place we love to be In the secret place we got the keys To the heavens and the earth and the holy So holy KAC to the world and back KAC to the Christ comes back KAC to the world and back KAC to the Christ comes back KAC with the word we strapped KAC, yeah we never lack uh, KAC to the world we back uh, KAC to the world we back To the world and back. 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 Come on, na 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 na
ไรโรโรโรโรโรรารารารคำว่านายบีโกนาณาณไรราราร
want to release this word upon the life of Pastor Ron of now. Isaiah chapter 45. And it says, This is what the Lord says to Randolph, his anointed one, whose right hand he will empower. Before him, mighty kings will be paralyzed with fear. The fortress gates will be opened, never to shut again. This is what the Lord says. I will go before you, Randolph, and level the mountains. I will, sm I will smash down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. And I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. I want to repeat the verse too. This is what the Lord says. I will go before you, Randolph, and level the mountains. I will smash down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. And I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. And why have I called you for this work? Why did I call you by name when you did not know me? It is for the sake of Jesus, thy servant, my chosen one. I am the Lord. There is no other God. I have equipped you for battle, though you didn't even know me. So all the world from east to west will know that there is no other God. I am the Lord and there is no other. I create the light and make the darkness. I send good times and bad times. I, the Lord, am the one who does these things. And now we, dec we decree and declare over the life of Pastor Randall. Open up, O heavens, and pour out your righteousness. Let the earth open wide and release resources, release the things that have been stored in the secret places, in the dark places of this earth, release them onto Randolph right now. Listen to us, O earth, you've got ears. And the word of the Lord makes us to understand that the voice of the Lord is powerful, majestic. It shakes the wilderness. Even now we declare the voice of the Lord over the earth, over the land. Let the land respond to your voice, Pastor Randolph. Let the land respond to your steps. Let the land respond to your fire. Let the land open up and release what the Lord has prepared for you. Let the earth open wide so salvation and righteousness can sprout up together. So that increase and abundance can sprout up together. So that peace, covering, provision can sprout out together. May your steps be ordered, Pastor Randolph. May the Lord order each and every step of yours. And may he give you, may he strengthen your desire to obey. For it is through your obedience that we are all here. It is through your obedience that we are all here. And I would like now to release the microphone to my brothers. Um, let's start from Wilfred. <laughs> so, um, I just want to first and foremost say, um, I don't even know what to say to a pastor. I'll be honest. Um, as I said at some point, that pastor didn't look at us as just mere young people, but he looked at us as souls. And therefore, I just want to just pray for Pastor Randolph right now that the same way he looked at us at our souls, may God look at his soul and just continue to, to strengthen his soul to do his work. May he continue to plow in Pastor Randall's heart. Break everything that's, that's, that's 
that's beyond him and just take him deeper. I really want to thank Pastor Randolph, man. Like, he's just a man of honor and he's teaching us all honor. It's crazy. Like, like I think I'll just say one thing, yeah? Yeah, like, I've, I've never met someone that could make me so consistent. Bro, when it comes to the Bible, yeah? <laughs> I'll be real, like, to be consistent for more than nearly 200 days, every day, reading the Bible, nearly all of us. I can't lie, that's a testimony to stay in our word. And we just want to honor you, Pastor Anoff, for what God is doing in your life. Amen. Passing it to Elijah. <laughs> For me, this thing is more than emotional because I consider Pastor Randolph more than a pastor. I consider Pastor as my father, my big brother, my friend, my everything. Um, maybe you guys don't understand. For me, he took me from the dry places. I remember this thing. I said that I would have said this thing where um, I will preach, but I, I, I can't say this. I can't contain this. I remember when the first time I saw him, he didn't know me. He didn't know me at all. And I remember I was worshiping. It was like seven years ago. Uh, I was a kid. I was worshiping and out from nowhere he took me and for one hour he walked me up and down from the altar I didn't know what he said at that time but I knew that he was prophesying into my life and I always say this to my friends and I say to have myself a Ludrici these guys in one church it takes a particular grace not because I, I, we are anything, but we said ourselves, I remember five, six years ago that, oh, I wish you could stay in the same church, seven, one God, and I one man of God that will really understand our calling. And the thing that blows my mind more is that we all discover that we are more than musicians. We, I... <laughs> I'm a more than a drummer. I know there's a calling behind. I know I can prophesy. I know I can read the word. I know I can. And, and, and it's not because of anything, but it's because of one man obedience. It's because someone understands that this guy, there's this more, than, more than a drums. And the fact that he doesn't want, he, he doesn't want to stay relevant because of your instrument. He wants to stay relevant because... Christ is in you. And also, from my heart, I love you. I respect you. I honor you. I'm honored to be called as your son. And I'm, I'm with you forever. We are with you forever. Trust me. I, we want this gospel to travel the world. We want the gospel to hit the nations. And, Masa, <laughs> We will hit it hard. Harder. Love you, man. I, I really appreciate you. And for um, Minister Patience as well, I, I honor you. I honor you guys for everything you, you guys are doing for us. And we will never, never stop to thank you guys. Sam. 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 Um, Pastor Randolph, I think, I don't even know how to say this, but I've only known you for a short while. But I think out of everyone I've known, you've had the most impact on me. I think it's, I haven't really, I've been consistent, but not consistent like this, where you even sat us down as a team and spoke to us to understand the meaning or the mantle of worship. And it's very important because how can we lead people into worship if we don't study the word? You've actually like made sure the word that like, you've actually studied the word to the point where 
if we even go out to evangelize people could see the christ in us that's because as you're saying as disciples our leaders got to be showing the actions of christ the attributes the characteristics and that's what reflects in us as well when we go out and speak and for me it's been a massive impact i've only been here for a short while but it's made me so like it's made me enjoy the word more than i just have to know the word but i enjoy to know the word and it's really shaped me so even the way you conduct your how you conduct yourself even in leadership things when you're setting us down and sometimes you're telling us off i actually enjoy when you're telling us off because it's making us disciplined i shouldn't really say it, but it's disciplining us especially the fasting you're like the first person that's made me fast for like 40 days <laughs> and usually fast now you do 21 but you've actually made us understood that actions of fasting what does it do to us and for me it's just really helped me so much so for me what i really look up to is your characteristics and how you lead us all it's really shaping me to that be a force my generation so that my generation too will know the word so we won't have a generation that after joshua that doesn't know the word yes. so that's what i have to say Praise the Lord. <laughs> now, I, I honestly, I ain't got too much to say. I'm going to look like a, some, somebody that talks a lot, but uh, I actually talk a lot, you know. All right. But I just want to say thank you to Pastor Randolph, because, um, I mean, moment of intimacy. He, he was the one that came up with the name, because I, I call it at your feet. But, nah, but all I want to say is that he's a great teacher for me because uh, I've been coming from Luton to London like with the car with him, like, and even in his action in every action that he does there's a lesson like the difference between ministry and real life like I've, I don't know a person that I've taught that's better than him like can be chilly chilly but comes to the ministry bro man up and yeah and also because i think that and another thing that he doesn't look like but he is is patient because i mean i don't know if you all watch like every stream but if you hear like Somebody laughing or somebody screaming, 80% of the time it's me. And he, and he watches me like. <laughs> but not in a single time, like he was like, yo, stop. And I appreciate that because he's not someone that treats everyone the same, but he's, he adjusts a lot. So, honestly, um, I just want to appreciate you, Pastor Randolph, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I, I love him. I, I actually love, like, nah. You say, yeah? Rah. But, no, honestly, guys, I don't even, I don't know people that have not changed since they met Pastor Randolph. Like, seriously, I don't know one person that, oh, I saw Pastor Randolph. Like, it looks, looks like he is a checkpoint to your calling. Like, you're going to, you're going to your way. And then, pa, it's Pastor Randolph. Ah, I'm a prophet. <laughs> like, ah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, like, yo. And uh, the way that, the way that he thought about how church should be, bro. Like, I don't know about you, but I didn't know that Wednesday is the new Sunday. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, I just want to appreciate you, Pastor. So, for my man, Minister, I love you. Joel, you the upcoming one. I love you. Uncle loves you. Yeah. And when you come out, you play some of this. Because me, I'll be touring. Amen. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Yo, that's... What's you, 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 what
Come on, fam. Let's go. Yo, oh, you're shy. Wait, you know, you know, okay. Hi, Pastor. Um, wow, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I feel like ever since I came to KAC, it was the first time I felt like it's in this place that I can grow. I always felt like nobody knew what to do with me in terms of discipling. And I met Pastor Randolph when I was like, I've met someone that I can, I feel connected to. Somebody that understands like the fire that's within me and somebody that knows what to do with it. And I feel like ever since I met Pastor Randolph, we've been on a journey where he's refined me, not as a child of God, but as a young woman. Um, and I feel like the benefits that I'm reaping from being under his discipleship is holistic. It's not just spiritual, but it's character development. It's how I relate to the world in terms of career, everything. It's not, he doesn't just care about your spiritual life, but he cares about you as a person. And pastors really taught me what fatherhood looks like, um, what having a big bro looks like. So I'm just so grateful because I know that being under him, I know that no gift of mine will go unnurtured. I know that everything within me will come out because I'm un under Pastor Randolph. I feel completely safe and sure about my future because I'm here in this house. Um, so I'm just so grateful to be called a daughter. Honestly, you inspire me so much, Pastor. I don't think you understand. And I'm just, I thank, I'm not gonna cry. I just thank God for your life, honestly. Thank you so much. Uh, Enoch, come. Ox of the year, come. Ox of the year, Ox of the year. Ox of the year. Bish. <laughs> uh, I'm not a man of words, but I will try. What can I say? Um, I met Pastor Randolph. I think three. Can you guys hear me? Okay. So yeah, I think since when I started joining KC, there was a shift, and I was coming from a, a moment of let's call it depression or something like that. I've never experienced that. But since when I stepped in this country, I, I, I've gone through that. But the first very day, thanks to, thanks to uh, Obed, which he's the one that took me here. The first very day, this guy, I, I felt something. I felt different, a peace. And we were at uh, Fountain, anyway, house. And although the church wasn't, super, I mean, that's super, but I felt the presence of God in there, even though this, the, the night before there were people coming over. But on that Sunday, I felt like, I felt something. And I was like, am I going to come the next Sunday? Am I going to come the next Sunday? And truly, the next Sunday I came by myself. And one thing that I actually learned from this, from my father, I used to remember when uh, um, I used to take the pictures on Sunday and uh, like Sunday night or Monday night I was there with also also used to tell me repeat the pictures we do the pictures I used to do the pictures do them again do them again and I actually seriously not gonna lie I thank you a lot because I can see the differences I seriously see the differences like I don't know if there's anything that also doesn't know like singing sing well Preach, preach well. I don't even know. Walk, walk well. <laughs> so, also, thank you very much. And I know, actually, I'm, uh, I'm um, I seriously admire you because your patience is beyond. I know that at times I can be difficult. Uh, at times my head is, I know. But your patience, seriously, and even the way that you, you, um, expose yourself in the way that you you I might probably think that when I do something wrong you're gonna hammer me but you come soft to me to make me understand the thing that I've done and seriously it's not for everyone so God bless you
respect. Miss Gra. Good evening. Hi. Bleh. <laughs> Hi also, so I'm not going to talk for too long because I sent you a two-minute voice note on your phone, so that would be enough. But I just wanted to say that you are um, sharp enough. You can be messy, you can be unsure, confused, but as soon as we step in your presence, you just sharpen us. And I just want to thank you for just allowing me to excel in all my expertise. I was a bit confused with my calling and not just spiritually, but even in my life in general and it just took one meeting with you to actually reset everything I wanted to do and give me a clear vision of where I wanted to go and uh, I just want to say thank you for that for being the father a mentor a pastor a friend an advisor everything that we can actually think of and um, yeah thank you for the pressure you keep on giving me some time with the flyers uh, now you're just reducing it a bit because I used to do them 10, 10 minutes before the service, but now it's, it's better. But just thank you for always pushing me in the places where I don't even know I can go. Uh, I just know that I'm here for the long run, and even if you by my, even though you know by my side, I know that I will be. I mean, I will have you under me somehow. So it over me, is it? Yeah. I mean, I just follow wherever you I'll follow. But just thank you. Thank you. Who's next? Francine. Come on. Happy birthday, boss. Guys, good evening, also. Um, oh, my goodness, what can I say? Um, I mean, I haven't. I haven't known you for long, but the impact on my life has been undeniable. Even my mom has seen it, people around me have seen it. I mean, I've never met uh, a man, a pastor, I've never had a pastor where I can speak, I can talk about anything with, anything, anything. I mean, you have been a father, you have been a pastor, you've been a friend, you've been a mentor. I mean, You've revealed to me things that I didn't even know God has put inside of me. And because of that, I'm very grateful, very grateful because I know that I am a woman called for this, for such a time as this because of who you are. And um, I realized that there's more to me than just beauty, career, or expertise. There's something that is bigger than me. And because of you, I know for sure that that will not go to waste. So I want to thank you. Thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you also. Thank you. Get the London look. Get the London look. Oh, hey, hey, my boy. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. Hey, bro, you're steady. Come on, come on. Hello. Um... I mean, I haven't been here for long, but the few months that I've been here have changed my life. I see the kingdom of God in another view. I've gone closer to God it's just because of the question I asked and the answer that I got. I mean, pushed me to get more. I never used to read, now I read every day. It's not even just about Bible, but faith books. He has opened my eyes in a lot of stuff. And one thing I like about him that is truly a humble life. When in front of God, he's crying, but then when you go in front of him, he's a liar. And I really like that about him. You know, it has helped him a lot. Even with a few questions, it's like, I could, ask, I could ask the silliest question, but I would just answer. And I pray that you be more and more humble, and then God will use you more and more. Amen. Amen. So yeah, um, also, thank you so much. Um, you guys may not know, but the first time I ever jumped on a mixing board was at his wife's program, um, June 4th, 2019. Yes, sir. 
I had no idea how to use the mixer board, but emergency came and I had to jump on it. And he called me a few weeks after to come and fix the sound in the building that we are in currently. That's the first, I mean, this is the first church where I've ever done a sound setup. And from there, I have grown in this craft. It has become my, my passion. It has become the thing that is taking care of me now. And it's only because this man trusted in me. It's only because he gave me the chance to discover this side of me. He gave me the chance to um, get my hands on stuff for the first time. Someone would have never trusted me, trusted me, but then he trusted me with this church. And I'm very grateful. Number two, I would like to thank you, Saul, for the many things that you've unlocked inside of me. Um, I've always known that, uh, you know, I had, I had some certain type of call upon my life, but it had, it, it had never been clear. But when I met you, it's like, through you, the, the Holy Spirit opened up my eyes to start to understand what he has placed inside of me. And I know that as I'm walking next to you, as I'm staying at your feet and learning, um, the Lord will open my eyes even more to discover many things. And I thank you for being so patient with all of us, me especially. Thank you for being so merciful. Thank you for being so considerate of us. And love you so much, Esau. I love you so, so, so much. I thank you for taking me as your son. Thank you for building me up and for trusting me with, with many things that even that. It's, it's, it's just crazy. And I'd like to come my brother Elijah. There's one thing that we would like to thank you for. One thing that me and Elijah would like to thank you for. And this is something that um, pastors do not... <laughs> pastors do not really um, help in this side of a man's life. And I'm talking about when it comes to girls or so has been when it comes to those things he's literally like our big bro we can open up to him about everything everything this man would not judge us he would understand us he would give us counsel he would show us what to do and this is literally one thing that for me is priceless because we know that as musicians as you know people that have a call of god upon their lives we can enter into places where we can get distracted by many things, by girls and everything. But you have been such a great, great mentor on this side of our lives. Do you want to add anything? Um, not really, uh, but it's just overwhelming the way you approach even our mistakes. And sometimes... I say to myself, how can this man be so good? Like, where, where do you come from? Because I, I, I say always to Elu that it, it, might be, it might sound strange, but you are the most arrogant person I've ever seen in my life. And you are yet the most humble person I've ever seen. Your confidence, your guy, like your everything you like, and and for the for the kingdom of God is is crazy, but then when I see you working in church, when I see you putting the chest in order, when I see you cleaning, when I see you um, worshiping on the back, when I see you dancing. And with us, when I see you at the back eating in the office, all the lessons you've given to us in the, in the morning on Wednesdays, and I, I understand the great man you are. And I, 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 I don't know. I, this morning, I was thinking, what, what can I use to describe you? I don't have words. I just thank you, Jesus. I just say thank you, Jesus, for your life. And for the life of, of Joel, Minister Patient, and for the little one that's coming. So, and I prophesy to your life.
that your oil will never run dry. And uh, the mission over Europe will come to a successful end. And we will see this revival. I, I, I've seen it. And I believe that all of us are going to testify your life. Like I said this afternoon, in the generations to come, we will remember your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 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 Thank what one people is a very DJ DJ run you know? the other Number one champion sound in the world
รไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรไรThank you. We love you. We love you. See you tomorrow, Kingdom School. See you tomorrow. Seven. Seven or seven thirty. Seven or seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty sharp. YouTube KC Network. Shout out you know. to Pastor Rando, Minister Patience, Jojo. Number one champion sound in the world. And the new band baby on the way. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. We are talking. Hey, we are back trying it. Nah, nah, you're in Kasai. Oh, Sam. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, bless you. Because all you've been through is only depression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freedom. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Yaba, 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 Yaba.